go. Let's see what's what. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. Yep. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. They don't want to say the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess what? than they had ever hoped to. Hmm. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin. This is true. And yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said enough. She did say enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused. This game has so been many unanswered questions. Two days of time, I think, like thoughts. story time. I think. I don't know though. So this would be number two. Wait, what is this? I thought they were sleeping on the couches. Allison, wake up. Okay. Oh. On my way to work, I see a bed like this set up in a field behind a church where there's like a crackhead has placed an old queen mattress with a like busted ass headboard and a end table. Just in a field. You waiting for the mad hunter? Nah. What is this, some E.T. like candy? He made me? Is that what it said on the other side? Oh, you killed me. Kill me. Allison is upsetty spaghetti. You killed your mother, you killed me, you will end up like me. Ooh. Spooky. It's a lot of pictures. Ooh. Ooh. When the glass, the glass, the ice breaks, it's a bad thing. Is the house on fire? Or is she just imagining it? Okay, weird. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, she's definitely tripping balls. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Hmm. Where she was no longer truly a princess with Tiara in her beautiful gown. But a wand woman, alone in a deep and ancient world. I like how the door was locked from the outside. Like, once you're in, you can't... Oh, wait. Hmm. I guess it's a... Like, dream or something, but the lock was preventing people from getting out. But then it opened outside, so who knows. Mama? She's got blood on her hands. You killed me. <laughs> you killed me. No. Oh. Wow. Inheritance, Chapter Three. Let's go. What are we listening to? Allison definitely's going crazy. Yeah, maybe. Oh, she's listening to the Wiggles. Look at that snowman. Oh my god. Man, they modeled a lot of stuff in this game that you never are gonna go see. I'd like to just take a drive around the town. Look at all this stuff they modeled. 
It's crazy. So what did he hear that he didn't like? So am I, pl am I play a flashback now? Is that what's happening? hair is dry. Oh yeah, this was at the start of the game. Morning, I started collecting the docs you need for your rental application, left the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet D for lunch, you can drop off the documents and I'll make copies for you. Take it easy today, Uncle Eddie. My famous buck up Buckwheat waffles are slowly growing cold in the kitchen. I have no I'm idea what's happening. To get my shit together. It's a flashback. I think. Unless she went home after last... Oh, that might be what it is. She went back home after the last evening and Tyler's at the lake house alone, maybe. Could be. What do we got here? I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. Who knows, though? We don't know. I could use a Michael pep talk. I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. Yeah, I think that's what's going on here. Nothing else to look at here. We already looked at the globe. Just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. What How do we got here? Go from being so alike to total opposites. I gotta think about something else. Mm, doesn't want to think about uh, Tyler. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at twelve. Agree. Agreed. Don't don't smoke. You shouldn't smoke. Oh, she's got her own little bathroom. Lucky days. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. Laundry? Boring. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. I guess not. No option to have a shower. Let's go have some pancakes, everybody. She's got like a whole little zone, I think. Unless this is Eddie's. Oh yeah, this is Eddie's area. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. The days have gotten so short. The tidal schedule. It's gonna be a long winter. I don't think I need to know about the tide schedule too much. Pancake time. I think he made waffles, but yeah. Let's go do it. Look at this artwork. So nice. What the? A memory? Oh, she wouldn't she look at it. Probably eat 
something. God, I feel so weak. She refused to look at it. I couldn't look at it. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened. What the hell was I supposed to say? Should we just snoop in Eddie's room? Find his pornography collection? It's a lot of socks. What do we got down hmm. here? I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing. Ooh. But I shouldn't be snooping in here. Too late. I'm already doing it. Well, now he's going to definitely know that we were in his closet because we picked up the phone number and put it on a shelf. Already peeping. Heck, you know we got to peep. You know we got to peep. You haven't missed much yet, so. I haven't heard him play in a while. He won't tell us he anything just anymore? sits no. there collecting dust. I don't think he will tell us anything more. What do we got? Secret keeper and her secret keep. Oh. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. What the fuck? Why is this here? We already read this one. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Do we just flip through every page and eventually be like, that's the one? Like, this symbol's on it, but we already read this one and we got the code for the, the other thing. Looks like, like this is coin operated. Oh. Let's put it back. Maybe there's a coin lying around somewhere. This is personal. There's too many stories in there. This is personal. Let's do it. I know I'm not getting better this time, so I want to write a few things down for you. I'm sorry to be leaving you so soon. I had my you late in my life, but I still haven't. I still thought there would be more time. It makes me happy to know that you will have the clan when I'm gone, and you will have your auntie to look after you. You've always seemed to know when it was time to leave. From the time you were a year old, you knew which shoes belonged to your, which feet, and you used to bring me mine whenever I was getting ready to go somewhere. I can never figure out how you knew I was ready to leave, but you'd be there. But there you'd be with my shoes every time. You never cried or made a fuss, just helped me on my way. I hope this leaving will be just as easy, and though I won't need you to fetch my shoes, I know you'll help me on my way. Your strength has always been to accept what it is and to do what it needs to be done. I'm so proud of you. For joining the police force people are going to look to you as a leader now and i know you won't let them down please help the young people remember our way of life we have thrived as a people since time before memory because of our cultural values don't let them lose that also remember how important it is to attend to everyone not just the ones who fit in it is our community way to lift each other up everyone has something to offer to the community they may not even see it themselves so you got to show them Help them along their path, as you've always done. Remember, when you uplift others, it makes you stronger, too. And then, I can't pronounce that stuff. Personals never stopped you. Yeah, that's true. Weird how Ed just randomly kept a note. Right? Well, I mean, why would he put it away? It's in his It's in his room. I shouldn't be snooping in here. <sighs> that was a good memory, even though Tyler couldn't come. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Old Eddie boy. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Oh, did we learn that somewhere? I don't remember learning that Eddie was paying for fireweed. I'm what glad he here? never pushed me to change my last name. Superior Court to Allison. Oh, this is uh, Eddie becoming the guardian of Allison. So I guess I need a coin of some sort, so. 
she will not remember. She's just refusing to remember. Something's not right. What is this? I always loved this one. It's a salmon. Sockeye salmon right there, I think. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. Dear Chief Brown, thank you so much for bringing our children home safe last weekend. Without you, they may have gotten behind the wheel, and who knows what could have happened to them or anyone else. Thanks again for keeping this off the books. They are good kids who made a mistake, and Lord knows how a police record can compromise a child's future. We know they'll remember your words for a long time, but please rest assured that we'll do whatever we can to make sure they understand the extent of what could have occurred so they can raise awareness among their peers in the community. Gail and Toby Locklear and Karen and Brody Moore. Okay. I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. Let's eat this first. I can't really eat anything right now. Okay, never mind. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. Oh, basket weaving? What do we got here? Ooh, Vancouver! I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. Nice. Maybe if I make something for Dee, it'll help calm me down. It's Dee's birthday. Such a dirty bastard. Michael's special creamy crab hot pot. Ooh, this sounds good. Saute gra grated onion and garlic and melted butter over low to medium heat. Add celery and carrot and wait till they're soft. Add potatoes, vegetable broth, and seasoning to taste. Celery, salt, black pepper, paprika, crushed pepper, red pepper flakes. Cover and simmer until potatoes are cooked. Add creamy corn and crab meat, fresh parsley, heat and simmer. Serve hot in bowls with wedges of lemon on side. Damn, that sounds good. That sounds real good. They need a new fridge in their house. It's making a lot of noise. Here's the file. Here's Just the file. Need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. Easy. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. So Allison's mom was just talking to Allison there? Marianne was talking to Allison? That's fucked up. Allison Ronan. Bell Square. Ronan.Allison at dmail.com. Female single US citizen. Tenant info sheet. Employment information. To whom it may concern in regard to her current rental application, I confirm that Miss Allison Ronan has been employed at Veni Vidi Vecchi's general store since June 2013 and still currently working as an accounting assistant. The position entails a data entry, processing, and recording transactions, booking and preparing budgets and reports. Mrs. Ronan is working full time in this role and earns a yearly salary of 24000 plus bonuses. She has no disciplinary record. I got pretty lucky with this job. Dessa and Tom really took a chance on me. She's so obsessed with this stuff. Which, what stuff? Getting her own apartment? That's the way it is in the real world, Bobby. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. What do we got here? Ah, a coin. I will take one coin. What else do we got here? Oh, my uh, ID. Here's my ID. Take the ID. <sighs> what the fuck? This place is never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Can't leave the house without your ID? Exactly. That was messed up. Oh, stop it, Allison. You so, have to stop torturing yourself. These are Just my grab imaginings. Grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Anything else here? I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Oh, that was about the house. What if I just packed a bag and left? No. Never looked back. Can't do that. Oh, that's a cute picture. God, 
The world Hail feels from so Seattle. fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. The Space Needle. Your clan, now Eddie definitely has something to hide. Yeah, but it, that's like his Indian band. That's what they're talking about. What are we learning here? Glass globe, dandelion, how to make jewelry hanger, paperweights. Oh, interesting. Some artisanal stuff. Uh, Allison, please. It's oh. Come on, Allison. Don't start. If I hit the right bumper to try to remember, it sends it away. So I kind of fucked that up. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. You assume it's his band? Watch it be his occult plan. No, I know it's his band. I don't assume. I, I, I know. Shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? Probably not. Okay, time to. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. Back to Eddie's room and open up that thing. I looked at that already. Oh, my boots. Nah, I don't want to look at those yet. Marianne, what's going on with you? If you need help... Okay. It's nothing. This Unless is he's nothing. secretly running a cult. I guess so. Unless he's secretly running a cult. You got me. A secret keeper in her secret keep. One coin right there. Ah, it's just one of these boys. No way. Hey, it worked. The secret keeper. Let's take it. Just stick it in the pocket in her pajama pants that guaranteed do not have a pocket. Okay. So I'm looking for my pay up still. The cult of secret keeping uncles. Possible. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. Oh, down in the basement, maybe. Let's go in the, the basement. Paperwork's not down there. Oh. Uh, where would it be then? In my room? I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> mm hmm. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> God, her bed looks super uncomfortable, man. Uh, what the hell is wrong with me? You're like your mom. Pay stubs gotta be under here. here. What? Where the fuck does she keep her pay stubs? Ah, here we go. That's here a big ass pay stub. Okay. Okay. I think I've got everything I need for the application. What is this? Hi, Tyler. I know we haven't talked by phone in a while, and I think that's mostly my fault, so I'm sorry. I've just been so wrapped up in my own problems. Sometimes I forget that you aren't that far away. Senior year has been the worst ever. I dated this guy for a few months. Bobby, hopefully you don't remember him. Only to realize he was a total jerk who didn't give a shit about me. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out, or why I let it take over my entire school year. I honestly feel so stupid, but I also feel stupid for feeling stupid. Ah. Anyways, I think what I'm say trying to say is life sucks without you. I miss you. I miss your presence. I miss take talking in our voice. Do you want to come to my graduation party next Friday? Nothing amazing. We will have dinner with Uncle Eddie and some neighbors. Tessa might swing by. I'd really love it if you were here, there. I realize now I could just call and invite you. I don't know why I'm writing a letter, but maybe with all the time apart, I've forgotten how to communicate with you. I'm sorry. I hope you can get back to where we were someday soon. Love, Allison. Damn, Allison, you're a bad sister. Well, she might be. We don't know yet trying to figure that out where's that coming from 
Where did I leave my phone last night? Sounds like it's downstairs. Allison, help! Uh, Allison, please. Matt Hunter. What's wrong with me? 